About to go ahead and pressure test this motor, so I'm just going down and tightening down the spark plugs. I know you're supposed to go to a certain foot pound, but I've been putting spark plugs in for so long, I got a good feel for it. You're gonna get yourself a, I believe this is a one inch cap is what it's called. Just bring your intake boots to Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever, and make sure you get a plug that'll fit in there snug. And then like I did, I had to put a little bit of tape on there to make sure it wasn't leaking. Put that in that, uh, in one side, and then the other side you're gonna have, I'll show you. Once you got that plug in, put a clamp on there and go ahead and snug it up. Now you can put your air contraption in here. Now for the exhaust ports, you can pick up these caps at Home Depot. They're an inch and a half. They fit pretty much perfectly on these Banshees, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten these down and then we'll go get some air and fill it up with air. Now we'll take some air and fill it up to about seven PSI. You don't wanna go above 10 PSI. As you can see, we're around nine PSI right now. That's fine. It should hold seven PSI for seven minutes is like the golden rule for any two stroke. But I mean, it'll obviously hold nine for about seven minutes as well. So I'll check in with you after about seven minutes and we'll see if this thing is good to go. All right, I lost track of time. It's been about 10 minutes actually, and we're still at nine PSI. So we're all good to go. This motor doesn't have any leaks anywhere. If your motor does slowly leak, take a spray bottle with some soapy water, spray around the reeds, spray around the base gasket, head gasket, spark plugs, exhaust gasket, make sure this thing isn't leaking. Spray around the intake boots here and here. Make sure that's not leaking. Make sure this isn't leaking right here. The next step would be to look at the crank seals. So look at this crank seal, then look at the crank seal in there. Obviously don't spray soapy water on your electrical stuff. Take all that off if you need to spray it with soapy water to make sure. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, share this video. We appreciate all the support. <laughs>